First, since the Muslim Sereka rebels overthrew former Central Africa Republic President Francois Bozize in March of 2013, killings by the group triggered the rise of Christian militias known as the anti baraka Last month, during his visit to the nation, Pope Francis urged the country's working factions to put down their weapons. My colleague, Esther Gizuyu Ewart, has more. In November, Pope Francis visited Bangui, the capital of the Central African Republic, with a message of hope and harmony. The pontiff called on the government officials to promote reconciliation and he urged both sides of the civil war to disarm for the greater good of the war-torn nation's struggling citizens. He also said the harmony of the people is often undermined by the fear of others, of the unfamiliar, and of what is not part of their ethnic or religious group. Beginning in 2014, three CAR religious leaders united to address the growing unrest, and they have been working together tirelessly to restore the social fabric of their country by addressing the root causes of mistrust in remote villages. Archbishop Diodon Napalinga is the Catholic Archbishop of Bangui. The state has ceased to exist. The state is limited mostly to Bangui. The rest of the country is lawless. The school system, the health systems, and other functions that are normally taken over by the state has uh, not been able to prevent the misery and poverty all around Bangui. This misery is affecting mostly the young people. It is the youth. It's 50% young people in my country. They are no longer going to school. They have nothing to do. They are easy targets for mil militia groups, for rebellion. Many have gone off to join other militia groups. So in Bangui, uh, they dream of something else. That dream is, uh, for many of them, death. Imam Omar Kobine Layama is the president of the Central African Islamic Community. We, through this interfaith platform, want to bring a focus back on justice and the importance of justice being sought to help us reach reconciliation. Justice can be a tool, a tool for reconciliation and for the development of our country. Reverend Nicholas Giokoyame is president of the Evangelical Alliance of the Central African Republic and a member of the Association of Evangelicals in Africa. We represent the people, yes, the people of the Central African uh, Republic. This is a wounded people. This is a tired people, this is an abused people, and they are also disillusioned. We are the spokespeople for people who have no voice, for people who are speechless, for population that does not have weapons but only has um, words in order to express their anguish. They speak for those in Central African Republic who simply want to live in peace and have been unable to for years. Nearly a million Central Africans have been displaced fleeing and caught in the middle of attacks and revenge attacks from mostly Muslim Seleka fighters and largely Christian anti-Balaka armed militants. Thousands of civilians have been killed. According to these religious leaders, what some call a religious struggle is more accurately a power grab by armed military groups in the face of a weak non-functioning leadership and government institutions. Transitional President Catherine Samba Panza has no institutional support and is without funds to provide stability or the immediate need for security. French, UN and AU peacekeeping forces are insufficient. However, the religious leaders are united in their reconciliation and peace-building efforts and are calling on the international community to significantly and rapidly increase its efforts to contain what some are calling Africa's forgotten crisis. Esther Gidu Ewart, VOA News, Washington.